Good morning, everybody. Today is March 14th, 2019. One day ahead of you people watching if you're over in the U.S. Pam and I just slept a lot, and now we're going to start day two of our adventures. Yeah, stay tuned. We're going to go look around with her folks at various things and eateries. We're going to go downstairs and eat the free breakfast at this hotel, and then we're going to go out and eat free breakfast with her parents because they like breakfast. Anyhow, stay tuned for that. Yay. And transmission. <laughs> Going down to breakfast. Chicken nuggets for breakfast. What the heck? Oh, yum. Traditional rice porridge. Soybean milk. Delicious. This is the bounty that I've been able to get. I guess either there's Fong Yen McNuggets, some kind of egg thingy, some kind of gyoza thingy, noodles, sausage, most likely pork. Also bacon. This is a uh, rice porridge, very traditional dish. We call it mue. And there's uh, fish flakes. There's, believe it or not, this is fried gluten. All you people that are afraid of gluten, gluten peanuts. I think that's like some kind of gourd or root. And that's what Pam got. Pretty much the same thing. We're just eating enough to get going and then gonna go to second breakfast. Or as the hobbits say, second Z's or something. Alright, that's it. This is actually fried gluten, the thing that everybody's trying to avoid. It tastes sweet, delicious, and delicious. More gluten for me, you gluten free lovers. This dog is part of the local gang. I think he's part of the Bloods. You can tell because he's wearing this red bandana. He's not one to be trifled with. He'll probably cut you. And your mom. Mm. Exactly. We've rounded up with Pam's mom. Oh, there she is. We're gonna start our journey now to uh, get breakfast some food, sandwich. breakfast sandwiches, and uh, probably some milk tea or something because Pam's addicted to that stuff. Anywho, it's a beautiful day. It's nice and cool. It's kind of cloudy, but it's not gonna rain. As you can see, I'm in t-shirt and jean weather and toe shoes, of course, because I'm cool. Anyhow, I will continue discussions later and transmission breakfast sandwich place apparently it's delicious because Pam's mom is taking us here look at all that delicious food Yes. 
second breakfast. There's egg and cabbage and meat and a pork thingy. And that's like milk tea because Pam is unstoppable. I love it. What do you do? Here we go. Good job. It's good. It's tasty. Look at that pork belly. Intestines. All this is some delicious stuff right there. It just keeps going and going and going. So you notice a lot of those little claw machines are out here in Taiwan. So what happens, as I've been told by Pam's aunt, is when a business can't afford the rent, usually they turn it into one of those buildings because it's pretty easy to run. You just buy a bunch of those machines and then uh, it just collects money from people as they try to get prizes. So a lot of locals hate that because it doesn't bring bring any real value. They'd rather prefer like, uh, you know, a food shop or a, or a nice store that sells garments or something but not those little machine places because it just attracts you know nothing but so if the rent's too high and you can't afford to pay the bills then you sell out and then uh, one of those things move in so you'll see quite a bit of that everywhere oh look another one easy to run it's just kind of a cash cow but a lot of people don't like them, except for the young people. <coughs> we are heading to lunch with Pam's mother's side of the family and her dad. We are going to eat shabu shabu, I guess, which is Taiwanese for shabu shabu. I'm sure there's going to be an assortment of meats and uh, vegetables and other things in the culture. Yeah. Let's find out. Here we are. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, it looks like a buffet style, full of assortment of stuff. Can I, I hit a, a fine dunk of quah. Boba jasmine tea. Boba jasmine tea. So this is supposed to be a light lunch, as you can see here. We're probably going to overeat like hobbits. There's more tasty beverages over there. Some of the sauces. Look at this, it's like a supermarket except you're going to cook it at your table. Ooh. 
Okay. So this is what Shabu Shabu is in Taiwan, which is loosely translated into fill your pie hole with much, much too much food. And there's ice cream. So yeah, this is kind of like a Vegas buffet, but way better. Because it's like super duper fresh. Oh man, an ice cream. All this is included in the price. The price of mission. <laughs> Or just the price of the eating, I guess. We are in Taizong, in a shopping area. That's Pam and her parents. We're at some kind of super park, and uh, people are in the park. We've been walking around all town, around, around town, and uh, we are also at Pam's dad's side of the family's business and now we find ourselves inside a gigantic mall about to get some milk tea this is what the setup looks like milk tea again and We meet again, my friend. Pam is going to eat chicken testicles. Yeah, chicken balls. Who knew that it was chicken oh. testicles? <laughs> Go for it, Pam. Oh, you're filming me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. It tastes so good when it hits your lips. Oh, God, here I go. <laughs> You can really taste the taste. That wouldn't be the first time I've said that. So, day two is done. Been pretty exciting. Most of it was spent visiting Pam's parents' side. Both her mother's side relatives and her father's side. Ended up eating a lot more food than we should have, but what are you going to do? They want to invite you out, and you do the good thing, and you eat. Also, there was a lot of milk tea drink by me today. Probably more than I should have. I think, like, the calorie counts at least over 200. Plus or minus 1,000 or two. Anyhow, tomorrow we're going to go sightseeing at some kind of moon, sun, lake thing that Pam's folks is, gonna, is going to drive us to. So tomorrow should be a little more action-packed. That's it. End transmission.